There was a study done at Manchester University in England where they had a group of people uh, lift a weight with their little finger, and they used the little pinky because that was a muscle that wouldn't be interfered with with any other activity. So they lifted weights every day for a certain amount of time with their pinky, which, you know, people in England, this will come in very handy, of course. <laughs> so they did that, okay? The other group visualized that they were lifting weights with their pinky. They only visualized it. They did it for exactly the same amount of time as the other group. And at the end of, I believe it was two weeks, the group that actually lifted the weights increased the strength and size of their muscle 29%. Pretty good, huh? Got a stronger pinky. That will come in really handy. But the group that visualized it only, they didn't lift a finger, literally. They only visualized it. They increased the size and the strength of their muscle 16%. Hmm, pretty interesting. From doing nothing, the muscle actually increased and grew, and it got stronger something to think about. So when you're thinking negative thoughts, you're thinking about why you can't do something or that you have such a bad memory or you have test anxiety and you can't remember anything or you say, oh, I'm so bad with names or you're trying to uh, quit drinking or you're trying to stop biting your fingernails. Do you ever spend any time imagining and visualizing that you have already quit biting your fingernails? Do you ever imagine having having this freedom to just spend the entire day not drinking and waking up in the morning and feeling great and having a full, fabulous life? Or do you just look at bottles of alcohol and go, oh God, I'm just going to be drinking for the rest of my life. What do you do that is something positive that affirms what you do want? When you think about taking a test, if you have test anxiety, do you think about yourself going into that exam room and being afraid and trembling and being fearful and forgetting everything and not being able to come up with the answers? Or do you ever spend any time closing your eyes and envisioning, feeling, experiencing it as if you don't have test anxiety anymore? How is your brain going to know where to build the neural networks if it doesn't have any training or any opportunity to do that? Can you imagine, you want to go out and learn to play golf, and instead you decide that you're going to go dig a hole with a shovel. And you're going to use the digging the hole with a shovel as training to teach your brain how to play golf. Doesn't make sense. However, people do that all the time when they're trying to get over something. They say, oh, I have such sugar cravings. I just keep eating sugar. I cannot stop eating sugar. I just, I, I have a sugar addiction. I don't know what I'm going to do. And then they don't know how to get over that sugar addiction and they don't know how to stop it. But all their brain is doing is going, sugar addiction, yes I do, I feel lonely, helpless, hopeless. I eat sugar, I eat it at night, I eat it in the morning, I eat it all the time. And that's what your brain is growing the dendrites to. So it's like, you wanted to learn to play golf, but you went and dug a hole with a shovel. <laughs> Does that make sense? So yeah, that's, um, that's what it is. That's how your brain works. Now, if you've heard the phrase, what you focus on expands. Keep that in mind. What you focus on expands. The very thing that you put your attention to is what is going to expand, not just figuratively. That's a big word, figuratively. <laughs> but actually, literally, there are microscopic videos that I just watched a couple days ago that show these neural networks, these pathways and these dendrites reaching out and connecting with each other and showing that what you focus on does indeed expand. It's pretty cool and the potential is just amazing for what we can do with our brain if you learn how your brain works. So you might have some doubts and some fears and you might not be sure that you can make this happen, but just remember that anything you do, any positive thought, anything with your eyes closed where you're focused, breathing, relaxed a little bit, that puts you into that mindset of having already accomplished it and being good at that thing is going to have that effect. It's not uh, rocket science, as we like to say. <laughs> it's very simple, actually. You just have to put some attention towards that. So I'm Wendy Friesen, and I'm really happy that you have been watching this quick introduction on how your brain works, and I hope that you're going to use these powers for good and um, make something really great happen. Cool. You guys stay smart.